This video review is sponsored by Nerdy Shirts. Looking for a really cool shirt that's 100% awesome? Check out nerdyshirts.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar, from buymeaniphone.com. Today I have a really cool product to show you. This is a product that was sent to me for free for review by iHome, and it is the IA100 Bluetooth speaker system. And this is uh, one of the really premium speaker systems that they're offering right now, and it features the uh, Bon Jovi Acoustics DPS, which is outstanding. So I'm really looking forward to showing this to you guys. We're gonna go over, switch over to the close-up camera. I'm gonna give you guys uh, basically an unboxing of everything that comes with this device and give you a demonstration of how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to the close-up camera and do that now. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the review by saying this. This is probably the best sounding sound dock I've ever used for the iPhone, bar none. Uh, the, the amount of sound and clarity that this thing is able to put out is, it blows my mind. This could definitely fill a larger room up with awesome, awesome audio quality. And uh, most of that in, in part is due to the, uh, the Bon Jovi Acoustics DPS, the digital power station uh, processor that's built into here. Um, for those of you guys that aren't too familiar with that, basically they have a this digital signal processing that is, I mean, I can't even, I'm not even going to go into the technical aspects of it. It basically makes the audio sound really excellent. There's a few uh, other um, sound systems and docks that they sell on their website that feature the system as well. Those all sound excellent at, at the same time. But uh, I don't think any of their other speaker systems are as feature rich as this one right here. And so we're going to talk about some of the features, some of the things that this thing can do, and possibly some of the things that I wish that kind of they would, would tweak about it a little bit, maybe make a couple changes on. So first off, let's just go ahead and talk about some of the specs. So this is like like it's called. This is a Bluetooth wireless uh, speaker system. It uses okay. A2DP, which is stereo Bluetooth, which your iPhone, iPod, and the iPad all feature, as well as any other devices, any other cell phones or other MP3 players uh, that, that can do um, Bluetooth. Can also this also will support those as well, so you can play the, that audio on here. But as you can see, of course, it does have a dock, and it's a universal dock which you can use with any devices. So this does not any uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPhone or I, iPhone, iPod, iPad. Uh, it does not include any trays or any, anything like that for this, and, and it's actually a movable dock. So it has like a hinge right here, and all you have to do is pop your iPhone, iPod, or iPad onto there. It'll sync it up. Or not sync it up. It'll uh, it'll start to begin to charging. And you can pop it off right here, and it already automatically trying to raise up my volume here. And if you can see here, there's like a little uh, insert right here. If you pop this out, then you can uh, also fit in the iPad as well. So there's a nice little crivet in there that you can put the iPad. And the reason I love I love this dock right here so much is because it is flexible and it does it does pivot depending on what kind of devices you use. But the best part about it is is that it actually works with a lot of cases. So if you have a case on your iPhone. Um, or maybe even the iPad as well, and the, you, it's a little bit deeper. If you take off that insert, and you, you can, if you have a case in your iPhone, it'll fit in there really well, and it'll slip right in. So you don't have to take the case off just to dock it. So really good design by iHome, and also as as you can see here with the uh, iPad slot right here to pop that into place. So you can use it with both. It does have this rail that kind of supports the back of it. Okay. So let's talk about some of the buttons here we have. So we have snooze and the dimmer switch right here. We have the bedtime and the wake up button. We'll talk about that in just a second, what that's all about. Now here's the cool thing, end and talk. So you can actually use this as a speakerphone, and there's the microphone right there, as a speakerphone from your iPhone. So if your iPhone is docked here, someone gives you a phone call, all you have to do is press the talk button and it'll pick up the phone call. The audio will come out of the speaker, the person will hear you from the microphone and you can use this as a speakerphone for your iPhone or other, uh, other devices as well that if you're on the Bluetooth, for whatever reason, if you want to use this as a stereo, you can do that as well. As you see here, the audio, raise, lower the volume, and we have our radio preset. So this is forward, back, play, a pause, Bon Jovi Acoustics. So you can turn this, this on here. You can turn the Bon Jovi Acoustics off if you choose to do so. And I think that actually adjusts the bass right there when you press that button to turn the bass up and, and to lower it down. And then you have your mode button, which we'll talk about that in a second. And so then uh, that's it for that, the bedtime and the wake up button. Those are things that you utilize with the, uh, the iHome Sleep app that you can get uh, for your iPhone, which will actually allow you to control this device with much more customizations. Uh, there's in the, uh, I'm not even going to go into the, that aspect right now. That's a whole other review. And I'll probably have an app review of that one very soon to show you all the different features. But trust me, it's very feature rich. There's very many things you can do. There's also another app called iHome Plus Radio, which is another application that you can use with this device as well. Really awesome stuff. So not only is this a Bluetooth sound system, not only is it a docking sound system, not only is, a, is it a speakerphone for your iPhone, it's also a regular radio. It's an FM radio as well. And if you see here in the back, I'm not sure if you can tell, there's actually a wire right here. So this is what it would use to pick up the, the radio stations. And it actually does a really good job picking up radio stations too. I never listen to the radio, to be quite honest. I'd rather listen to my Pandora on here. But that is uh, available to you if you need so. 
let me put, turn it around here and I'll show you what the kind of connectors we have in the back. So we have, as you can see here, we have our power plug right here. This cord for this is about five and a half to six feet long. Pretty long, should have no problems at all. Clock button, we have our EQ, we have our pairing button to be able to, uh, to pair it with the Bluetooth device that you're using. The nap button, the alarm one and the alarm two. And we also have an auxiliary in. So if you do are using a device that is not an iPhone, an iPod, an iPad, a device that does not have, you just want to be able to plug this in, like maybe it's your laptop or your computer, and you want to use this for the, uh, the, the audio for that as well, you can just plug it right there into the auxiliary in. No problem whatsoever, okay? So that's the back there. Let me show you the front. I'm not sure if you guys get a good, clear picture of that. And so one of the cons I will mention about this uh, dock that I have noticed while using this, because I, I, I've really been using this all over the place. I've been using it as an alarm clock. I've been using it in my living room just to play uh, the music off of Pandora and off of my iPod, uh, feature my iPhone here. Um, but the thing I have noticed too is that the display. Now on camera, the display looks pretty sharp. And don't get me wrong, it is very sharp. And you can have many different values of dimming. I think it goes to like 20 different values. But the thing I have noticed is it's also backlit as well. So when you, on, it doesn't really show up on camera right now. What kind of shows when it's on the brightest setting? But it's not just lighting up the numbers and the letters, but the actual back area is lit up as well too. So when it's pitch black and dark, and when you're sleeping and you barely and your eyes are barely out of focus, then I wear glasses, so that makes things even worse. So when I'm trying to focus and see this clock, I have sometimes have a hard time seeing what time it is because it's not just like the background of this of this uh, of the LED screen here is is black, but it's still lit. It's it's slightly lit, which makes it really hard to focus on the numbers. I mean, that's probably more of an issue with me because I wear glasses, like I said, and so when I take my glasses off, it's harder to focus on that. But it was just uh, very difficult for me to find a dim setting, dimmer setting. That was just perfect to where I could just glance at it really quickly and be able to see it really sharply. I have a regular alarm clock that I use and I have no issues with that at all. So, I mean, you know, I, I know that the fact that I'm not wearing my glasses isn't a, isn't a super big uh, aspect of why it, or reason why it's doing this to me. But I think it's just because of the way the, the uh, you know, the ba it's backlit right there. Not a really big issue. And I don't know if it'll be a, lot of, a big issue for a lot of you guys as well. But that is one thing that did kind of get annoying for me. And I eventually stopped using it as an alarm clock because of that. Just because I don't really... Uh, I don't really, I have an alarm clock already. I'd rather have this in my living room because the audio I'm, I'm, when I'm playing music and such is a, is where I want to hear it in the living room, not in my bedroom. So one thing to keep in mind, guys, just putting it out there. Um, so anyways, guys, like I said, this does feature the Bon Jovi Acoustics digital uh, power station. So it's real time digital signal processing. It basically extends the audio bandwidth. It adds uh, like missing harmonics without adding any type of peak or output. There's actually a really good explanation of how the Bon Jovi Acoustics works. I'll put a, a link right here to a, a video that we did at CES 2010 where Tom actually uh, had an interview. We did an interview with uh, Mr. Bon Jovi himself, uh, Tony Bon Jovi, and he talked about whole, how the whole signal processing works and how it kind of fills in the, the dead spots of the music and just really amps up the music and makes it sound really crystal clear and it's you have to hear it to know exactly what I'm talking about. The quality is outstanding. It's really good. Um, like I mentioned before, it's, it is app enhanced, so you can use the iHome uh, Plus Sleep app, the iHome Plus Radio app with this as well, and it, it works really well with those as well. I'll give you guys a, 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 an app review of those in a later time, okay? And like I showed you here, we have our alarm clock because it's programmable, so you can have the snooze time, gradual wake, and gradual sleep, the, uh, the home bedtime, wake up time, those are things that you utilize within the iHome Plus Sleep app. Very cool. You have the sync, a uh, sync feature here as well. So when you put your iPhone on the on the on the uh, dock here, it'll actually sync the time up together. It does have an adjustable EQ with bass, mid, trebles, 3D, and balance, um, all those different types of things. It lets you to customize the sound. You will need an app application on your iPhone in order to control it. So the thing about the, this thing is, if, if you're using it with your iPhone, your iPod uh, Touch, or the iPad, you'll want that app on your phone in order to have fully uh, full customization of, of how this device sounds and how it acts and behaves in the alarms and such. Um, you can use it without having the application on your phone, the, the iHome app, but uh, I would recommend having it whenever you're using it with this as well. So um, if you are, do want to use the radio on here, it has six FM preset stations, so you can switch between those as well. And uh, it also features something called Resonate uh, speaker chambers, so specially designed high-end drivers that deliver astound astounding clarity, depth, and power. That's what the box is telling me here. So basically that just means it sounds awesome. And I, <laughs> I think I've, I've already pushed that, that point across to you guys. The, the sound quality in this is, is extremely surprising for a package that is not that large, it's not that big. It's, it is have some heft to it and it is a, does have some weight to it. But um, I was really blown away by the sound quality. It just really, um, I've never, like I said, I've never experienced this type of sound quality. 
that this device can push out ever before on any other speaker system. So definitely something you need to look into. Anyways, guys, I've really enjoyed playing with the iHome uh, IA100 Bluetooth uh, device here. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. It does include a remote control as well if you have your iPhone docked on here, if you're not using the Bluetooth. Because obviously, if you have the Bluetooth feature, you can control your music and your playback and your volume from your iPhone. But if you want to keep it docked here and charge up your iPhone, you can have the remote here as well. And this can do a variety of controls uh, from the remote. So guys, uh, like I said, I've enjoyed using this device immensely. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. It retails for $200, so it is by no means uh, not a cheap sound system, but I definitely feel it's worth $100 more than that. I would pay $300 to have this system. It's just that flexible, that customizable. Um, the quality of the audio, like I said, is exceptional. So check it out, guys, iHomeAudio.com. Please, guys, if you yourselves own this product, please post a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, am I crazy? Do I, is the audio just sound good to me and you hate the audio quality? I doubt that's the case, but if the, you are having some kind of weird issues with it like that, please post a comment below. Tell us what you think about it. I'd love to hear what you have to say. That's going to be it for me today, guys. This has been another video review brought to you by buymeaniphone.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.